Hi everyone, this is Caio Moreno, uh, Solution Architect at Databricks. I'm based in Spain, Madrid. I'm so excited. I'm going to talk about uh, AIBI, our intelligence analytics. And uh, this is something new that we recently launched on our event in San Francisco. I recommend you guys to have a look, try to understand a little bit about what is Compound AI systems and what is AIBI dashboards and what about Genie, what is Genie and everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick demo with Genie. Okay. So Genie, in a very big summary, it is a tool uh, that uses generative AI on top of your tables uh, on your data warehouse. And then you can ask natural language questions. You can ask questions in English, questions in Spanish, in Portuguese. So let me show you this. Let me show how to use Genie. So uh, if we go here to my Databricks, uh, and I go to my uh, repo, what I have, I have a repo here, okay? And this repo, I have my end-to-end -end demo. If you want to follow this demo, uh, the code is here, okay? This is the demo. It's on my GitHub, my personal GitHub. I created a demo about AIBI, Genie, Databricks SQL Serverless Unit Catalog. So this data comes from Airbnb. Everybody knows Airbnb. If I want to rent something from Madrid, you go there and you search, and then you're gonna find a lot of properties. So the property are here, and there is a website, this one, which has all the data, the raw data from Madrid. And this data uh, is available on the internet. You can download. So what my project's doing, I have uh, my notebook here. Super simple. And then this notebook is downloading the data. It's creating like a delta table. So you can do, uh, you can execute this notebook. And then the only thing you need to do, you need to point this to a catalog. So you need catalog. If you're not familiar, I'm going to do a quick demo. But I have a catalog, I have a schema, and I have a table. And then I execute a query using Spark, Spark SQL. OK. But if you're not like a Spark developer, you're not very familiar with Spark, what you could do, you could also use Genie. OK, so I have this table now available. So if I go to my catalog, OK, so I go and I put uh, Kyle. So if I go and I filter here, Kyle, I have my, my, my catalog, my schema, and I have tables. Also, the data itself, it's here. It's in a folder, in a volume, in unit catalog. And if I need to add more data, I can just come here and upload it. And then I can point to this. And then I upload it, And then I have more data here. So I created, uh, I put the folder, I, I put the file here. I use that script to read the file and write as a table. And I have this table. This is my table. This is the data. OK, and if I want, I could open a dashboard with this data. I can use Tableau. I could use Power BI. I can even share this data using data sharing. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do uh, something super cool. I'm going to use this data, and I'm going to use Genie. Ooh, like if you like Aladdin, like the Genie, Genie in the lamp. So let's ask Genie. So I go here to Genie. And I'm going to create a, like a, a genie space, what I'll call my demo, Cayo, Madrid. And I put the date today, June. And I'm going to point this to a warehouse that I already created. I have many. I created this one that is stopped it. Uh, but I'm going to point to this one. And I'm going to point a table. I'm going to go here and say, uh, Kayo is the catalog, and the schema is this one, and the table is this one. Okay, 
You can point more tables if you want, but I'm going to point this one and then I'm going to confirm. OK, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. On my I have some questions that I already know that they are nice. So I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to say. I want this to be a simple question, so I'm going to add this. So when people don't know what to ask, they can ask my questions. OK, and I'm going to put this one. And I'm going to put one more, which is this one. OK. So those are my questions and I'm going to put save. So when I save, uh, it's going to say, oh, the SQL house that you have is stopped. OK, let's start it. OK, so my SQL house, it's uh, here, my compute. So we have to create. I create like a Databricks. Seek a warehouse uh, using a serverless option. OK, look at that. Now I have the questions. So I'm going to say, OK, how many super hosts are there in each neighborhood? You don't really need to worry about how good you write your questions. You can just write and then it's quite clever enough to understand and to answer. So now this is running. So Ginny is running and he already found me uh the the counts by neighborhood it, it's a lot so maybe if i want to do a out visualization it will take more time i can say oh i like it i like this so i give a positive a thumb back uh positive and look at that it runs and executes for me uh this uh if i want let's ask another question let's say for example uh show me the top 10 hosts OK, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to show top 10 host. Every question that you ask, it gets recorded in the system and you can use this for monitoring. So now I have the top 10 hosts and I see the front and Marta are the ones with more uh, total reveals. So I can say I like it. Uh, I can say out visualize as well and it's going to run. It's going to create me a dashboard. So I have a graph uh, that I can visualize my data. So now let's say if I want to say, mm, show me all the properties where Fran and Marta are super host. See, everything that I execute, it gets, it generates a SQL. OK, so I don't need to know SQL. I can just like use the tool and it will generate the SQL. It's good if you know SQL because you can validate what the generative AI tool is creating. But this is a plus. OK, show me all the properties where Fran and Marta are the super hosts. Now what I'm doing, I'm drilling down on, on Marta. And, and now this is all the properties they have. So they have many. They have in Sol, they have in, and then we have the price and everything. So. Imagine that I wanted to spend some money and I want to come to Madrid. I want to visit Madrid. Maybe I can say I only have 250 euros. Where can I stay? OK, let's see. Uh, it will filter now. So look at that. If I see that one, this is the query. It, it filtered by uh, Fran. And now if we see this one, it's filtering by front, but also filtering by cost. And then I can say, oh, I could stay uh, in the central located quite with Terrace in Geronimo's, this place in So. So now, if you want to understand a little bit about the things behind, if I go to settings, I could add more tables, I could add more questions, I can change my warehouse, I can see the monitoring. This is all the things that I executed. If it fail, if completed, if pending, the users that uh, execute those queries, if it went positive, look, positives are those, uh, and you can filter. The data itself needs to have comments. So then I show you, for example, here I have comments about every one of my columns. And you can add instructions as well. You can put examples, SQL queries, uh, and then you can play. You could just like go and create like a new chat. And even you can say, for example, explain me the data. So uh, this tool will use 
what we describe uh, in our documentation, which is uh, compound AI systems. So if you want to run understand more, read this blog. And it use unit catalog behind the scenes and use our warehouse. And look, uh, this gives the description about what the table, what the table is. Uh, what are the tables in heart? No, this is a different question I asked. Sorry. Uh, uh, this is here. Okay, no, this is another question that I asked. But um, I want to show you how we could improve your system. So if you have your tables, uh, and then it's not giving you good results. So what you could do, you could go to your table. For example, imagine that I have this table here, which is uh, neighborhoods, uh, sorry, reviews. And this one doesn't have a comment. So I can use my AI generate to uh, button and it now generates the comment for my table. And I say, oh, this is good. I wanted to accept. And then I could accept maybe comments as well for my for my table, so I could accept this one as well. So if you provide more metadata, if you give more information about the tables, the columns, it will improve the accuracy, okay, of the response and everything. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show. And for every query that you do on Genie, for example, if I go here in Genie, you see that I have many Genies that I created. Uh, if you get the last one is I think is was this one. So for example, we have this that we ask questions. So if I just go and get this query here, I can control C, control V, and I can come to my compute, to my warehouse. This is the one that I created. Okay. So if I want, I can go to my SQL editor and I can create like a new query. And I can put this here. And I can say, okay, run on my uh, DB SQL, and let's execute it. So this is running the query on my data warehouse, on top of my lake house, on my delta tables. So this is the same query that I execute with Genie. If I click here, you see that this table it has no cache, so it didn't. It, it basically went and got the data. Look, it, you have IO. You can see that the data was uh, extract, but now if I want, I can execute this again. And let's see, it's much faster, right? Because now we have cache, okay? And that's it. So with the unit catalog, you can control all the access around your, your tables, your volumes, your machine learning models. Um, and then with the SQL warehouse, like the SQL, the Dubrix SQL serverless, you can run very fast, very, very fast queries. Like if I want, I could uh, have a Power BI dashboard connect here, a Tableau dashboard, or I can even create like a dashboard using uh, whatever tool I want. And with Genie, what you have, you have this ability to, to query the, if I go here back to Genie, I can query my data uh, using natural language. So, for example, I can ask any question I want, and it gives me the answer. And you can give this tool for users that they don't know SQL, and they can ask questions. And every question they ask, it will get a SQL query, which maybe they can share with you and they can even use these queries to run on the warehouse or to build a dashboard. So there are many ways you could use Genie. And, and that's it. Uh, maybe the last thing I want to show is for your catalog, as I have here my catalog. I didn't show, but I have also a model. I have two machine learning models that I have on my catalog. I can give permissions for people to use. I have multiple versions of my machine learning model. And I also register this model and I put it into my endpoint to serve. So now I have a endpoint, which if I want to query this Airbnb data, because I build like a machine learning model on top of that, I could come here and, and query this data and 
and then basically I get the predictions, as you can see. So I pass some information about my Airbnb data and I receive the prediction. So I wanted to finish now and I hope you guys uh, try. Go to my 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 code. Uh, if you just follow this code here, you see that's super simple. It's gonna download the code from the internet. Uh, you have you need you need catalog enable, so you need like to create a catalog, a schema, and and then that's it. Then you execute the code, and you're gonna have your table. You don't need to use the Airbnb data, so you can reuse this code for your pilots, your POCs with the tool. Uh, when you put the table on, uh, when you put this data into a table, uh, what I recommend for you is you go here to warehouse, and then you create a new warehouse, and then you select the option serverless. Make sure you have unit catalog enable. You give a name, and there is multiple options. You can select one, and then that's it. You hit the button, and and then you create your warehouse, and then you can query. So. I hope this was useful and uh, and please send me feedback, connect me with me with LinkedIn. Uh, this is my GitHub, so you can find me here on LinkedIn and 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 that's it. I hope this was useful. The, the demo is here. Uh, I'm going to improve this. If you don't have serverless, you need to enable. And if you don't have Genie, you also need to enable uh, in your Databricks. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time, your patience. I hope that was useful. Please send me feedback. Bye bye.